is here. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Was so Our so surreal. Child famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victor. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Are you? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe She's I still have this pencil tortured, case. Right? I should upgrade to the and 21st frankly, century. Oh, but I like it old school. Yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. My little camera. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shop, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. I want to represent Hi, Max. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the You world, seem quiet today. No matter who just wins, thinking too much. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel I hear that. Process, but I want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life. Thanks, but not today. I have, I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Abaddon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses? And look at that vintage rangefinder! What? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Right. 
I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I'd... Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people... Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special Anyone picture training class. Like because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. The she plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. 
So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a photographer it. who perfectly captured the human, human time machine? Black and white? Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, of Max. You feel like Still the same stupid picture. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he and does again, bullshit. I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. Uh -huh. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Melissa class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again process and give him the right answer? Out fine detail in people's face. I'm getting dizzy. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish.